Welcome back guys to Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, as Clavier's bad day continues to get worse. As we keep finding out that, well, he's being slightly implicated by his keys being on the dead body. It's not the best day for him, that's for sure, including the musical cues going wrong. We've got the soundboard, so hopefully that will lead to later evidence. But at this point in time, Trucy's just wondering... Is this all just planned? This is really weird kind of things to keep happening to you on one day. You. Aren't thinking what I think you're thinking. Get that cool music gone again. Yeah. Are you Fraulein? I am. What? What? Hey, don't leave me in the dark with Spike here. The name's Apollo, but yeah, I agree. Don't leave us in the dark. What are you talking about? Have you noticed a connection, Apollo? A curious connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles today? Um, well... I haven't noticed. It does seem a bit above and beyond. I mean, he didn't expect his guitar to burst into flames after all. You know, something was bugging me too. Yeah, yeah, something was. That keyring and the guitar and the body. Slow down there, Polly. You look a wee bit dizzy. He's bluffing. He hasn't figured it out. Fess up if you're a man. You're as clueless as I am. Huh? No, no. Give her forehead a chance. I see your evidence of the connection, shall we? Uh, evidence? Ah, I'd better think of something pronto. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see it. What's the connection between all of Mr. Gavin's troubles? Well, it, it can't be just that. But we did notice something that was kind of linking up earlier. And we're only allowed this screen worth of stuff as well. Well, that said, it's me! No. It would have to be the lyrics. Sugar, sugar, oh that night in your embrace. When you stole away the keys my heart held on to so tight. Pleasure, pleasure, but a fleeting melody. It wraps itself around me and now through the air I fly. These are the events of what have happened. So we saw that, whoa, whoa, burning on in my heart, fire, burn my love away all the way, his guitar, catching a light, like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away, all the way, the two's getting shot, guitar, guitar, up together to the sky. That last bit, not so much, but still. It's gotta be that. Just because the lyrics with the fire going on at the same time, it was representative of everything that was happening. If you look at it as well with the keys in it, to be honest, I, di I didn't know about the key link. I was thinking just the fire. But it, it more or less explicitly states what's happened to him, not just in the gig, but during the day. Take that! It's this, isn't it? A lyric sheet? The guitar's serenade? What's that got to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. Though I wouldn't have believed it if the Fraulein hadn't pointed it out. What are you talking about, man? Enough with the riddles. Maybe it is a coincidence, or perhaps it means something. Don't you think, Fraulein? I do. Everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin today is predicted in the lyrics of this song. What? No way! Alright, more talky conversations. Look, just think about everything that's happened to Mr. Gavin. Let's list them in the order that they occurred. While reading this lyric sheet. First, the keyring was stolen. Oh, I just all said this. And not just any keyring, a heart-shaped keyring. Oh, I didn't think of that. That's right here. When you stole away the keys my heart held onto so tight. The heart is holding onto the keys because the heart's the keyring. This is a heart holding keys. And next is guitar burst into flame. Burning onto my heart, fire, burn my love away. Also, the grabbing him, holding him, make him float away actually happened during the gig, so that's that's why that's skipped. And then Mr. Latouz was killed. Like a bullet of love, fire, take my life away. But, but that's crazy. Yeah, no kidding. So everything that happened today here, this song predicted it all? Or perhaps it was the other way around. Huh? The criminal could have based their crime on the lyrics. But who would go through all that trouble? Someone who moves in mysterious ways, no doubt. I believe you stumbled upon something quite vital and quite annoying, Fraulein. Aha! Uh -huh. She looks pleased. 
And the lyrics are predicting the crime. Clavier. Seems a bit more than just a coincidence to me. I have to agree. The keyring, the guitar, and the murder. The keyring might have been dropped by accident. Yet yeah, the victim was holding it. Hard to think that it was unconnected. That's true. Prosecutor Gavin's as calm and collected as ever. Does the criminal match their actions to the lyrics? That sounds likely. Why would anyone do that? What do you think about that? I'm going to get cracking on the biggest crime here. I'm going to talk to the Borginian Embassy about this Mr. Latouz. Ah, right. Thanks, Diane. I'll leave the pondering of mysteries to you. I'm out of here. A foreign national. Mr. Latouz was killed. It seems like that would have to be the point of all of this. They did more than that. They left us with not only a murder, but a mystery. Mr. Gavin sure is irritable today. Maybe this is the real prosecutor Gavin we don't get to see in the courtroom. I've had enough, frankly. If you find any more mysteries, do me a favor and keep them to yourselves, yeah? Yeah. I guess this is all we're going to get from Prosecutor Gavin. That leaves Lamira to question. Prosecutor Gavin, do you know where Lamiroya is now? Never going to pronounce that name right. Ah, I had to go to my dressing room. With that pianist, Machi Tobe, of course. She seemed rather shocked by Miss Latouz's sudden passing. The Gavin's dressing room. Got it! Of course, can't be in the normal place. So, we'll leave you now. Don't listen to your music anymore. We know where the cue was missing now. Hello? Neek! Who, who's there? There he goes again! Who is that guy? Huh? Trucy? You know, he did look sort of familiar. So he is a friend of yours. No, that's not it. Sorry, I don't remember. Curiouser and curiouser. A trip down the rabbit hole, hey? Come on then, Alice. Let's go. And question Lamaroya. Ah, Lamaroya! What What has happened? I heard that Mr. Latouz has died. L Lamaroya, you speak? I mean, you speak English? Well, she did say in English, and you'd notice if she sang it perfectly or not. You'd know if she was a native speaker or could speak it. Even if you're not, like, if you're not native and you're singing, I know we didn't get to hear it, but you've always got an inflection or an accent. You could have probably told from the gig. I don't know. If it's mostly perfected singing, then it's got to be nearly like the person can speak the language. Ah, yes. I was invited here from the Republic of Borginia, but I'm not Borginian by birth. Of course you're not. Wasn't Mr. Latouz your interpreter? Ah, that, yes, well, it was Mr. Latouz's idea. He thought it would add to the mystery, you see. Then your pianist is also... No, Machito Bay is Borginian. He does not speak English. Now, please tell me! What has happened to Mr. Latouz? Why did he... Actually, Mr. Latouz was... Trucy! Huh? Remember what Prosecutor Gavin said. Not a word. But, but, Mr. Latouz is Lamaroya's manager. That's not fair to her. I mean, isn't she a related party? Precisely, who Prosecutor Gavin doesn't want to alert, I suspect. All he had been told is to wait here in this room. It is very unsettling. I'm sorry, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Do you think I could ask you some questions? Of course, I'm always willing to help. She's as calm as she looks on stage. I can't put my finger on why, but I like this Lamiraya. What is it, Machi? What? But you'd be alone! Um, what seems to be the problem? Machi, he is not good around strangers. He wishes to go out for a breath of fresh air. Would that be alright? Uh, sure, of course. Except you're not really allowed out, out, out. Very well. What is it you wish to ask me about? Talky conversations, of course. I've oh, got the song in the background, have we? You've got your own theme tune. Republic of Borginia. That's in Northern Europe, right? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. I've never even heard of it. 
started out singing in a restaurant. And a producer called me. Before I knew it, here I am. You don't say! You know, my daddy plays piano in a restaurant. Producers tend to look for talent, Trucy. I'm Loria. I'm not from Beginia originally. Were you born here? Well... Oh, is that supposed to be a secret? Image is everything when you're a star. I know a bit about that, of course. Uh, yes, it is something like this. A contract, you might say. I'm also not to speak anything but Borganese in public. Image is important, I guess. She's not all image, though. Her songs are lovely! A real landscape painter in sound. A painter in what? She travels the world, turning the sights she sees into music. That's the secret to your music's beauty, right? You're very perceptive. Oh! I use your songs all the time in my stage act. I don't have to pay royalties for that, do I? Yes. Stop by your head, Drusy! This landscape painter and sound, too, is an image. Yet without it, my songs would not be so widely heard. They even call you the Siren of the Ballad, right? Siren. Yes, in Borganese, Lamaroya means the Siren. I fear that perhaps already I'm not the Siren I once was. Hello, hello, hello. No witness. Your pianist? Machi, was it? He's cute, like a porcelain doll. He's very European. Is he? I met him while singing in restaurants in Borginia. He's an orphan, and his playing is exquisite. Soon he came to live with me. It's like a fairy tale, almost. I notice he hardly leaves your side. Yes, well, he is blind. At first, I hesitated at dragging him across the world. He doesn't speak English either, does he? He had never left Borginia before we met. I made his presence part of my contract. Machi and I together are Lamroya. Together. Always. Mr. Latouz was my new manager. New? Yes, from three months ago. Around when I received Mr. Gavin's invitation to come. I met Mr. Latouz at my office. He was to be my manager and bodyguard. And as it turned out, my interpreter. Interpreter? Even though you speak English? Yes. We were to visit more places than just here. We had a concert in Japan scheduled after this one. Though I fear that may have to be cancelled now. Was Mr. Latouz from the Republic of Borginia too? Well, he was only with me for three months. I'm afraid there was much I do not know about him. And now, I shall never know. No one will ever, or even, tell me why he has died. I... I'm sorry. Prosecutor Gavin said we weren't to talk to anyone. Mr. Latouz was a talented man. The siren of the ballad. That phrase was his idea, you know. I am happy for him that it has become so well known. The siren? That's what he meant! Huh? Apollo? You are the siren, right, Lamaraya? That is the meaning of my name in Borganese, yes. It was the name my producer gave me, but why do you ask? It's very important. I had to know for sure if the siren was you. What do you mean, important? I'll tell you. You deserve to know. Alright, the siren. You were the witness. Siren. It turns out that's a very important word in this case. H how When we found Mr. Latouz, he was still alive. What? I heard him say something. His last words. Mr. Latouz! Can you hear me? As witness. Hang on there, Mr. Latouz. Tell me, who is the witness? The witness is S Siren. He said Siren? Really? I was the only one there to hear it. And I'm sure that's what he said. Mr. Latouz said that? Ask the witness. And you're the Siren, Lamin Roya. Did you see what happened? Lamin Roya? Might I ask, are you with the police? Uh, uh, well, no. I'm a defense attorney. An attorney? Have there been no arrests yet? Is that a problem? Does an attorney not work for a client? If you have no client, you should leave the investigation to the police, I think. But Lamaroya, we... I'm sorry, but I cannot answer your questions. I'm afraid you lack the authority to ask them. Ah, <sighs> why? If she witnessed the crime, when would she tell us? I believe we are through here. I believe so. Are we? 
What if we can tell her that we knew she was there? I mean, when you really look at it, it's easier to go to examine than the court record. This bit here... No, I don't want to talk to you about that. I want to look at the postcard. You see the words written upon the postcard? They say, a landscape painter in sound. A landscape painter in sound? That's a nice image. Yeah, we talked about that already. I want to look at the postcard. Obviously, I'm not allowed to. Right. So we can see in the middle of a chest, though it is a bit hard to see on the small screen, that there is a pendant in the middle of her garb, of which the brooch is what we've already found. So if we present this to her, maybe we can get something more out of her? Even though we're not police. That reminds me. Does this brooch look familiar to you? My brooch? Yes. Well, it may be mine. Yours, Lamiroya? I was wearing a brooch earlier, you see. I must have lost it. Well, that explains the brooch we found. It was Lamiroya's. Thank you. I was wondering where I dropped it. So this brooch belongs to her. That begs the question. Is something wrong, Apollo? What was this brooch doing at the crime scene? Okay, we've changed the details on that, so that's kind of cool. But nothing actually else happened. Okay. That's probably important that we did that, mind you. I see bad things in her future. We're going to end up in court and saying, well, you did witness the crime. The, the dead person said that you were a witness and your brooch was in the room. Explain this. Well, that's all four talkie conversations done, I think, unless we've opened one up again by that. No, she does not want to tell us more. We're not good enough for her. Is that that guy gonna appear again? Whoa, who's that now? Ah, it's you. Where were you? Ah, uh, Emma! Is something wrong? She looks grumpy than usual. You bet something's wrong. The impossible happened. Ah, it's all your fault, you know. Oops, maybe this is about us leaving the crime scene. What do you mean by impossible? But it's gone! Utterly gone! What's gone? The body, stupid! What else? Eh? Mr. Latusa's body has disappeared! What? Ah, Prosecutor Gavin. In your vacant stare, I gather you've heard the news. I heard Mr. Latusa's body has gone missing. Look for yourself. Quite the pickle. Quite the pickle. How can you just stand there? We have to start the investig- There's no need for alarm, Fraulein Detective. All entrances and exits have been sealed. The body will not leave the building. So I suggest we go find ourselves a cadaver. There will be plenty of time to ponder the whys later. Well, you seem pretty sure of yourself, Mr. Gavin. Oh, we'll find him. I'm rather enjoying this. How can Mr. Latusa's body just disappear? Well, you heard the man. Let's get searching. Hey, I don't know if this is exactly the right time, but welcome back, Dian. Yes, Dian? See, Gita's gone missing. It was in the dressing room. Gita? Who's Gita? That's what I call my guitar. You like, man? Gita. Ha <laughs> ha. Your guitar was stolen? This hasn't been a good day for guitars or guitars. Okay, body first, then guitar. And if someone finds that guitar, please bring it to our dressing room. Gita's like a missing person, not lost and found, man. Right, okay. Just wondering what if there's anything like under the body we can examine? There should be a body here, but there's not. How could this have happened and why? No, nothing else to examine then? Who just drags a body around? Why isn't there a blood trail? Surely there'd be at least a bit of a smear. I know the buddy blood wouldn't be pumping after that long. Plus, there'd be a lot more blood on the ground, to be fair. So let's go back into Lamanoia's dressing room. No, 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 wrong one. Let's go back into the Gavina's dressing room and see which guitar is Geeter. Let me guess, by the way. It's gonna be the Badger one. 
No, it's not any of the ones that are here. Lamelo has gone. Okay, that's worrying. We just left her alone after all. But to be honest, she was with us at the time, so she probably went and missed the body. But Machi wasn't. So all there's left to go to is the stage, and something's definitely changed. Hmm, does something seem different to you, Apollo? Something is definitely different here. Let's check it out! What's this? That stage there must have been lowered before. That's the tower the Lamarara and Pro Prosecutor Gavin were singing on. Someone must have raised it. Hmm, I'm gonna see a way to control it from here. Apollo, what about that ladder there against the wall? We could use that to take a look up to the top! Ah, oh, ladders everywhere! Maybe we should get Emma. What are you talking about? We have to see this sort of thing for ourselves! I'm not so good with heights. Stop whining and start climbing! Ah. It didn't look that high from below, really. But when we got to the top, I felt every one of those 20 feet down. Of course, I wasn't thinking about the height anymore. Not after what we found up there. Yeek! We found two things we were looking for, and one thing we never expected to find. That's Gita, then. The body, guitar in hand, and a pianist, Machitobe. He dead? Right then, back to the agency, where it seems we've been let out at last. Wow, that concert last night sure went south in a hurry. No kidding. Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Don't look at me like it's my fault. Machi Tobey, the blind pianist. Arrested on suspicion of murdering Romain to Latouze. I want to say Toulouse instead. I can't believe such a cute little boy could do something so horrible. Like I said, proof of some kind. How did he get... No, you want it? Yeah, right. If he, if he is indeed blind... Like Lamara was indeed Borginian. Because that's in doubt at this point in time. He's still small of frame, and I very much doubt he could have dragged, because he would have really had to drag that body all the way out to that stage. There must be some steps involved, and there's no way it doesn't leave some kind of smearing. I don't know if it was that long for the blood to dry. Ugh, this is a bit weird. But isn't it always? Like I said, proof of some kind. What proof could possibly prove that? Morning. But Prosecutor Gavin! What a night, eh? I apologize for being so upset. Mr. Gavin, do you know what's going on? Why did they arrest Machi? Why? Don't look at him like it's his fault either. It was tough for me too. We performed together that night after all. Yet. Yet? The powers that be say that given the circumstances, it could only have been him. How? What do you mean by the circumstances? Lamroya was invited from Borginia as an ambassador of goodwill. It is vital that this case be wrapped up swiftly. That's all the powers that be want, really. Well, those are circumstances, all right. But what makes Machi the only possible suspect? Hey, forehead. You seem to have forgotten that you're talking to the prosecution. The enemy. Ah, right. I think I like this side of Prosecutor Gavin better, actually. I'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of the case. Especially not to the defense attorney. What? Did you just say? Me? The defense attorney? That's what I came to tell you. He's down the detention center. He wants to request your services. Something tells me, Mr. Clavier Gavin, that because you're here, in our office, that someone might have put a little bit of a suggestion into a young kid's head. Someone wants to get to the bottom of this with someone that he thinks is trustworthy. Clavier, what is your angle? I still want to know. Are you just legitimately a good guy? Uh, he, you mean Machi? Machi wants me? This is what we've been waiting for, Apollo. Let's get going. Uh, right. Good luck. I'm off to question Lamaroya. Right. Later. I hope I'm up to this. July 8th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Well, I just don't get it. I refuse to believe a cute little kid like that could do something so terrible. You said that already. Machi, everything's gonna be okay. We're here for you. Um, hi. 
Maybe you can tell me about last night? Well, he's Borginian and he can only speak Borganese. Huh? That was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this. In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Um, maybe a Lamaroya can help. But didn't Prosecutor Gavin say she was with him? Good luck. I'm off to question Lamaroya. Well, what are we going to do? That's, um, a good question. I can't think of anything we could do but go with this. And hope for the best of the trial tomorrow. Sorry, Machi. I cannot understand a thing. Is that an I'm innocent, I tell you? Well, how are we to know? As we move on. Next episode. To the trial. Again, not able to speak. At all. For a different reason this time. To he who we are defending. A young boy that I didn't believe could possibly drag that body all the way. What is going on? And who is that mysterious man who at this point is probably the most suspicious person there? But if you look at the characters in the case, where do we point our fingers at? Really. If it's not us, it could be Lamora, Clavier, Dayan, or this weird magician man. We'll find out next time, or at least get a little bit closer to the truth in Apollo Justice. Bye-bye.